Hey y'all, Six Gear Motorcycles here, and I uh, thought I would check in and say hello. Hello! <laughs> um, long time no vlog. And uh, I've come out to get out on the bike, first and foremost, but I also got to go over to the chemist and uh, pick up my poorly dog, his asthmatic inhaler. Yeah, I've got an asthmatic English Bull Terrier. Poor guy, he's uh, rather elderly <clears throat> and uh, in need of his inhaler. So, uh, yeah, poor guy. He's like getting on a bit, really, to be honest. And uh, <laughs> off to get his inhaler. But um, yeah, he's got a bit of a wheeze. No, not funny, really, to be honest. Um, but it's all good. How are you all? Hope you're all uh, hope you're all keeping well. Sorry I haven't done a vlog for a time. I've had a bunch going on and uh, been super busy. Had a promotion at work and um, yeah, no longer driving out on the road, so I'm a bit fresher for not driving. But <laughs> uh, I couldn't really say that in all honesty because I'm quite tired running around all day long now and um, instead of running around in a van I'm running around on my feet all day which is is, is starting to actually get me very fit <laughs> which is great I'm starting to revisit my my healthier side that I used to have many years ago so it's all good um, but I don't have a lot of spare time now I'm not getting home earlier like I used to and not really able to jump straight on the bike and go out and do a vlog. Um, yeah, so a bit of a bummer from that standpoint, but I will still be trying to uh, put an effort in. Um, I must admit, after doing the tour, for all you that all the all yous, for all of you uh, that aren't, aren't really kind of up to speed on my channel, um, yeah, myself and my wife went off for a tour of Europe covering uh, 3,500 miles all through Europe. Our first ever tour on a motorcycle and um, it was punishing, it was grueling. I made some really big mistakes, uh, gave us too many miles to cover and not enough time to do it really, and booked us into hotels and gave us unreasonable deadlines. We had horrendous temperatures, hot, and at times even cold when you're up in the Alps. Um, but yeah, it was grueling and it was tiring and it wasn't a holiday, it was a test of endurance. And we did it on this, uh, on our bike, our 2005 Kawasaki ZX-10R. And uh, these bikes are awesome bikes. I'm, I'm not just saying that because I own one. They are awesome. I've rode a lot of bikes, as you can see from all my test rides. And uh, yeah, it's a cracking bike, but it's not like built for touring. And um, yeah, we learnt the hard way, let's put it that way. Please do have a look um, at the, uh, at the, at the, my playlist of the tour. Sorry, it's on there somewhere. I'll put a link up. Um, yeah, so click on that link. That'll take you to our tour. There's lots of videos going up. Uh, I'm, I'm on like day four of two weeks of our tour. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of footage. I think I might have to condense down um, when I'm completed. I'm going to condense down that tour and give an overall tour uh, of the whole holiday. Got to be done. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll condense it down so it's a bit more watchable because otherwise at the moment it's like half an hour at a time and there's a lot of videos. So, um, yeah, at some point I'm going to need to edit that down and give uh, something for the viewer that just wants to watch a short clip. Um, but off to get... You know what? I've gone the wrong way. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, the wrong way. Gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Um, the chemist is back that way. I think that's a spot of rain as well. Oh, wonderful. First time I get out on the bike for like a week or so. And what does it do? Rain. Typical, isn't it, really? It's just the way it goes. But hey-ho. Hopefully it won't come too much. 
So the worst thing is I've got to go down this stretch of road again. Mm. What a bummer. Yeah, we came off. We came off the bike. On the way home, we came off. On our last leg of the trip, we came off. And um, I've gone all over the bike, and everything's fine. Everything works as it should. This looks a bit floppy, doesn't it? <laughs> everything's fine. I promise you. But um, as you can see in here. The bike is running fine, and I tell you what, my big toe is still sore. Ow! Ow! It's still sore uh, from changing the gears all those gazillion times when we covered uh, all those miles over over two weeks of riding. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I am going to stop off soon and uh, pick up my asthmatics. My, my Bull Terrier, my English Bull Terrier's asthmatic medicine is inhaler and um, I'll continue this vlog. I've not got a great deal of recording time here but it's uh, enough I believe to, uh, to say hello. Anyway, it's, um, oh I'm such a pro, I'm such a damn pro on this bike. Look at me. I bet you all admire my riding pr prowess. Alright, let's push it, man. Let's push it through. Cheers, buddy. Right. You all must be jealous of how well I ride. I sometimes kind of surprise myself. I sometimes send myself into a state of shock. For how, how brilliant a rider I am. And now I'm carrying on. Now I'm going to get strange looks off people because they think I'm mad talking to myself. Yeah, right. Let's go get some meds. Right, there you go, there is your little tour of the uh, the chemist. Sorry, I've just actually pulled away uh, without remembering to put it back on record again. And just had to pull over because I've got cramp in my hip. So blooming dehydrated, it's unreal. Not helped by uh, consuming copious amounts of Stella Artois last night. Yeah, I've upgraded from, from Foster's to Stella. <laughs> so, <laughs> some would probably argue it's not an upgrade, but yeah. Um, had a few beers, ow, oh, cramp again, right in my hip. Um, yeah, so, um, got, uh, got my Bull Terrier, his inhaler, so he can breathe easy, and I just keep getting cramp here. I think I'm going to have to pull over and have a stretch. How rubbish. I think it's the excitement. Um, I don't know what it is, but as I've got older... <laughs> Not even older, actually. This has happened to me for years. Particularly when I used to go out on the bike. I used to get really excited. And I don't know if it's like muscular. Like, well, it is muscular cramp, isn't it? But I don't know if I'm like... I don't know. Holding myself in a particular way. But I end up getting damn cramp. Through the excitement of it all. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But, yeah, that's what happens to me. It's definitely not helped um, having a drink last night. And here's the damage on the bike. I've had this off, but had it all apart. 
I've stripped it all down and uh, yeah this is what I'm left with some cracks here this has previously been repaired and the cracks that were there have basically come back again uh, and worse and I need to replace this it's just this portion here comes off and obviously you can take the screen off so I need to replace that but on from that um, no real damage one broken mirror which I've put a brand new set of mirrors on 25 pounds from M&P for a new set of mirrors and they're really good really happy with the mirrors so um, so far total cost of crash damage is 25 quid but these portions of the plastic are really expensive I'm certainly going to have to spend a lot more on that to replace those. I've picked up a few scratches from uh, having the bag on the seat. I did have on a luggage um, cover on there to protect the plastics, but it has worn some of the paint, the luster off the paint. So I'll keep polishing that and also a little bit on the tank. It's, take, it's kind of rubbed the paint up a little bit. It's got like miniature, minute scratches. I need to paint that, uh, not paint it, I need to polish it some more. So, uh, but on from that, not that bad really. Much recording time we've got left. Six minutes. Right, stretchy, stretchy. Easy, easy. Let's do a Rossi Valentino. Oh yeah. Oh. Stretch the limbs out. My boots need cleaning. I've not cleaned my boots since we came off. It was horrendous weather. Look, got all this. I don't know if you can see that. I need to clean my leathers up. Um, I need to also do a little video because um, when we came off, it was pitch black, but I did have on the forward or rear facing camera. So you can see a tiny bit of what happened, but you don't see much. Ah, that's better. No cramp. Crampless much better um yeah so i need to do a little video explaining what happened in this accident um wholly regrettable completely and not actually to be honest with you altogether my fault um i will take blame for it slightly oh dear no don't know about this don't know if she's happy I, I mean, I'm always cautious around horses because I know my bike is a bit loud and horses don't like loud noises, do they? But, yeah, I always find it a worry that they're going to spark off and start jumping around in front of me. Um, yeah. The downside I've got at the moment also is that I had like 10 memory cards 64 gigabyte cards and I've used them all up and I've got the footage off of all of them I need to kind of back them up I, I've kind of backed a load of it up onto YouTube and been making the videos from it but I need to uh, delete some of it off which I'm kind of don't really want to do so I think I'm going to have to buy some new memory cards it's like one of those once in a lifetime trips it almost feels like and I don't know when I'm going to get to repeat it. And I don't want to delete it. Even though it's on YouTube. Um, it's probably going to be more permanent than anything I can back up to be honest with you. But um, yeah. I'm kind of struggling now with one one memory card with 20 minutes worth of recording on it. So uh, that is what I'm using at the moment. And I'm, uh, I don't want to delete anything else off. So I guess I ought to really just maybe buy myself another memory card really. But for the meantime, this will do. Uh, I also really need to upgrade my internet connection. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go with a bit of fibre. Some, uh, yeah, fibre optic, and get some real speed going because it's just taking me an hour per minute on an upload, which is just ridiculous. And it doesn't matter how I do it, I can't get any quicker. Um, but I appear to be able to get fibre optic now in my area. So I'm going to try that as well. And I also need a laptop, a better laptop. I've got a prehistoric laptop and I'm just using the YouTube editor. So um, although my edits kind of look all kind of okay-ish, primarily because I'm not editing it, I'm just <laughs> uploading a bunch of it, like half an hour or, you know, 20 minutes straight of me just out riding and talking. 
whilst doing the tour, but I really do need some better editing software, a better laptop, and uh, I can make a much nicer job of things, make it a bit more professional. So I hope you're all keeping well. Thank you for all you new subscribers and all the support you've been giving me and uh, all the feedback you've given me over my um, my videos. Really appreciating that. And uh, yeah, it's been really cool actually just uh, chatting with a few of you guys. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I'm enjoying it. So uh, let's keep that going. <laughs> I'm really busy at the moment with work, but I, I will do my utmost to stay in touch with anyone and if anyone says anything I will reply. If I've not replied, it's because YouTube hasn't told me I've had a message. I really do depend on YouTube to uh, give me the notification that I've got a new message, but it doesn't always do it. While I was away on tour, I uh, come back to see that I had had about six messages. Six messages. I'm so popular, aren't I? Um, that I hadn't seen. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for any deli delay. Delay? Delay on that response. Uh, not ignoring you. Guarantee you I'll always respond as soon as I can if I get a message. Um, yes. So, we will be in touch. Nice to do a vlog again and go out for a ride. I'm going to go up through the Cheddar Gorge now. I've got, how long have I got here? I've got like a minute left. Right, I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to take you up for a minute's ride through the gorge. Then I've got to get home and pick the missus up from work. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at the gorge. So here we are. Here is the gorge. <laughs> here is the Cheddar Gorge in all its uh, beautifulness. It's um, a bit cloudy today, isn't it? A bit overcast and a bit grey and dim. Not dim, like dull. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here is the Cheddar Gorge. It's a beautiful place. Pretty busy on a weekend. Not, not horrendous, though. Sometimes, you know, in the height of summer, it can be very busy. It can all be stacked out up here at times for parking. Popular with uh, riders and drivers and meets and all that kind of stuff. People meeting up. Yeah, big boulders and uh, the sweeping roads. But you have got to be a bit careful because the roads aren't that grippy. Because look at this lot, look. Can you see all that? See all that? In that, the car is like coming up here.